Today, the Palm Springs Air Museum took to the skies to thank frontline workers with a flyover. I chatted with spokeswoman Ann Greer about Frontline Fridays. Ann, it's great to see you again. Good to see you, Peter. So tell me what the Palm Springs Air Museum is now doing every Friday. So what we're doing is, uh, because of course the museum is closed to the public for COVID-19, so in the month of May, starting today, we will be doing front line Friday flyovers. So at one o'clock, three of our warbirds, our C-47 Skytrain, our P-51 Mustang, and our P-63 King Cobra will depart into the skies and will do a flyover in honor and saluting all of the frontline workers and the medical personnel. And there'll be, uh, each Friday, there will be a slightly different route Today's route is they will fly over Desert Regional Hospital, over the Palm Springs City Hall, over the tribal offices, Agua Caliente, uh, Band of Korea Indians, Desert Water Agency, and the Cathedral City City Hall. And then they'll be coming back and they will be including all of the city halls and uh, the other two major hospitals, Eisenhower and JFK Kennedy, you know, Kennedy, um, this month. Well, what inspired you to do this? Well, you know, um, let's face it, right now it is the essential workers and it is, of course, the hospital personnel that are on the front lines, if you will, dealing with this pandemic. And so this is a way of honoring them, saluting them, saying thank you to them. And um, May, of course, is when we normally do our flower drop on Memorial Day. So on Monday, May 25th, we will be putting up eight vintage warbirds in the skies to, in memory and tribute to all of those who have served, who serve and served our country. Um, and who are the pilots? Well, the pilots, we, we have a crew of pilots that, our, um, that are licensed to fly these particular planes. You have to be approved to fly each plane. And the uh, pilots donate their time. Uh, and this is their way also of saying thank you um, to the community for, you know, for those who were keeping us safe, the firefighters, the police, like I said, the medical personnel, um, and of course the city halls, because it is after all our local government that pays for uh, police and fire and, and, and you know, EMTs, et cetera. These are not federal dollars. Um, and so, and the other thing that the Air Museum is doing is we have virtual tours every Wednesday of a different warbird. So we do our Wednesday warbird that we're sh uh, sharing with the public. How has this crisis impacted the Air Museum? Well, it, um, it impacted the Air Museum in, in, in so many ways. Uh, number one, the Air Museum is quite large. We have 86,000 square feet. So most any day, it's very easy to do social distancing because the hangars are so large and we don't, you know, it's not like there are thousands of people coming through every day. So when the city of Palm Springs decided to close all essential businesses, that was a tremendous hit because, let's face it, March is the biggest month in this valley for this economy. So um, it affects everyone, you know, differently. Um, certainly, um, I've been impacted because I've been cut down to, you know, two hours a, um, a week. So that's been a huge hit for me. Um, so, but, and of course, most of our volunteers are in that high high risk category, you know, your seniors that are over 65. Um, but, you know, we just make do, so we're thinking of other ways of bringing the museum to the public. And as far as for the flights at, at one o'clock today, um, I've gotten emails, where do we look for them? Where, how do we find them? And my answer is, you want to listen for them because these three planes all have propellers and so the engines are quite loud 
and you will hear them. So when you hear the plane, you and your families should run outside and look up in the skies to look for them because they'll be flying in formation. Fantastic. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.